Okay. Ooh, it's Kenmore. Kinsmore. And it's got this little thing on the bottom you have to push in to pull that thing out of there. These two screws take everything off the top. Said it started smoking, so it sounds like something stuck inside the blower. A little sock got past here or something. Look in there, don't see anything. So let's take this thing apart. Okay, so this has got screws in the back here. Right on this side, on this back side, you gotta take off. I think got like five pound balance weight on this black weight. Here's your tech sheet. I don't need that because we just need to take it apart and look inside and make sure there's nothing in there. So it looks like we gotta take these screws off here. Take that front part out. And uh, I think it's just these screws here. These screws here. And this thing should come loose and then we can take a look at the blower. Okay, so there's nothing stuck in the blower. Feels like there's something in the back hanging it up. And we can see we need to have this thing cleaned out because it's got a pile of lint in it. About five inches high inside there. Take these screws off. That door has a connection to the light switch. You can pull that out. So just pull out. Pressure fit. The screws. Take this off. Pull the drum out. Take a look. So what I found was kind of lint. This roller was stiff. So I lifted it up with a little tri flow. I'm going to check these rollers. This roller is stiff. It's froze up. We got hair. That's hair. These are long haired people here. This is kind of clogged up with hair. That one's okay. That one's okay. It's got some wear on it. But yeah. Lots of lint. That's definitely a fire hazard. And then kind of thing we got it unplugged it's always a good idea to unplug it first thing this is the one that uh, had a crack see that seam right there the seam on that drum that seam can get cracked on these they had sears come out because it was still under warranty when they had a crack here sears came out told them it's a hundred dollar minimum for them to come out and look at it we already knew what was wrong with it they charged a hundred dollars and then uh ordered this part and then came back and put it in so yeah that's just like a lot of hair in there just kind of clogging that whole thing up <laughs> things like frozen stuff solid <sighs> otherwise the motor spins freely and that's all it was it was this roller and that other front roller here that other front roller and that was it